Robots are back on Long Island. Students from every place all over the world are competing at a popular event, which was canceled because of the pandemic in 2020, and they had to hold it virtually last year. Well, CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports teenagers spend weeks of their own time working very hard on these impressive high-tech bots. than just wires and wheels. These incredible machines are tasked with a job. This year, it's getting balls into a hub. Think sports competition for young engineers, coders, problem solvers. But it's not just students building robots. The robots building students. They build students to learn teamwork, to learn from mistakes, yeah, to help in the social environment. We will prepare them for life. Still no spectators, but 39 teams are cheering each other on. The culmination of hundreds of hours of students' free time. It's six days a week. It's a lot of work. The 22nd annual FIRST Robotics Competition. FIRST is the name of a nonprofit which reveals a task to teams and gives them just six weeks to build. A lot of different designs out here. And so teams can change things on the fly. You can spend hundreds of hours here just to have something not work out. Problems that can occur, uh, programming issues, mechanical issues. Amazing how different all of these robots are, and yet they do the exact same task. It's teamwork with students from as far away as India. I have been at sports events and very similar energy. There will be a winning alliance at the end of all this, but team members say it's more than a competition. They call it a cooperation. It's about positive energy and professionalism. It's not about robot wars here, it's more about figuring out what's the best solution to the problem. 100 pound bots that generate One, two, three, life lessons. In Hempstead, Long Island, Carolyn Vessel, CBS 2 News.